my fellow mathematicians, my name is Jim and Joseph, and I'm here to help you guys out with some fourth grade math. So we're going to start off with place value, and it's saying write the value of the digit for in each number. So again, the first digit is the ones place, the second digit is the tens place, the third digit is the hundreds place, the fourth digit is the thousands place, and the fifth number is the ten thousandth place. Since we see that the four is at the tens place, it is tens. For number two, we could see it's at the thousands, so it's thousands. For three, we could see that it's in the hundreds place, so it's hundreds. For four, we could see that it's in the thousands place, so it's thousands. For five, we could see that it is at the ten thousands place, so the answer is ten thousands. For six, we could see it's in the tens place, so the answer is tens. For seven, we could also see it's in the tens place, so the answer is tens again. For eight, we could see it at the thousands place, so the answer is thousands. Again, for number nine, we see it at the thousands place, so the answer is thousands. For number 10, we see it at the tens place, so the answer is tens. For 11, we see it at the hundreds place, so the answer is hundreds. For 12, we see it at the ten thousands place, so the answer is ten thousands. And this one, last one, I didn't say, but basically, as we all know, it goes from ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and this is hundred thousands. So the answer for number 13 is hundred thousands. I know I don't usually do all of them, but this is pretty simple for you, you smart people. So now we're going to move to multiplication. So we had to find each product and show our work. Again, 16 times 4, 16 times 4, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 plus 2 is 6, the answer is 64. Uh, number 2, 22 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, the yes, answer is 44. 9 times 8, you see, this is part of simple multiplication, and it's in your multiplication table, so you can't really, like, you could do, like, 9 plus 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 9, but that's, like, really tedious, so if you remember multiplication table, you'll know it's 72. For number 4, again, if you know your multiplication table, you know it's 28. 5, you know it's 48. For 6, you know it's 30. 7, you know it's 15. 8, you know it's 56. 9, it's, you can do 12 times 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And then 4 times 1 is 4. This is also your multiplication table, but that with double digits, you could actually work it out. 9 times 5 is 45. 8 times 4 is 32, 10 times 5, it's in your multiplication table, but if you want, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5, the answer is 50, and then for 13, 27 times 2, 27 times 2, 7 times 2 is 14, and 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, your answer is 54. Now we're going to division. It's saying to find each question and show your work. So number 1. 52 divided by 4, 4 goes into 5 one time, and 5 minus 4 is 1, bring down the 12, I mean, bring down the 2, and then 4 goes into 12 three times, your answer is 13. 15 goes into 3 five times, and you know this uh, by basically knowing your multiplication table since 3 times 5 is 15. First, number 3, this is also in your multiplication table. It's 64 divided by 8 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. For 4, that is also in your multiplication table. So, and so 72 divided by 9 is actually also 8. So, yeah. There's no other way to do these problems besides the long addition or knowing your multiplication table. Only those, like, number 1, you could do it like that. For number 5, we could do it like that. So... 81 divided by 3, 3 goes into 8 2 times, 8 minus 6 is 2, bring down the 1, 3 goes into 21 7 times, your answer is 27. 
Again, 52 divided by 2, 2 goes into 5 2 times. 5 minus 4 is 1, bring down the 2, 2 goes into 12 6 times. So your answer is 26. 44 divided by 11, this is in your multiplication table, so you know it's 4. 50 divided by 0, it's also in your multiplication table, but you can do it right here. 5 goes into 5 1 time, minus 5 is 0, bring down 0, 5 goes into 0 0 times, so your answer is 10. 6 divided by 3, this is your multiplication table, your answer is 2, if you really want. 6 divided by 3, 3 goes into 6 2 times. 42 divided by 3, 42 divided by 3, 3 goes into 4 at one time. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, bring down the 12. 3 goes into 12 4 times, because 3 times 4 is 12, so your answer is 14. 54 divided by 9, this is your multiplication table, the answer should be 6. And 12 is also in your multiplication table, so 6 divided by 10 is also 6. And finally, 84 divided by 4. You can do 84 divided by 4, 4 goes into 8 2 times, bring down the 4, 4 goes into 4 1 time, so your answer is 21. Yeah, let's do word problems now. So, since we did every other question, you guys will only have to do one word problem. So, we're going to choose randomly, uh, we'll go with, eh, let's go with this, uh, let's go with number 4, actually number 3. A cafeteria baked 2,175 cookies and 712 muffins. After the third and fourth grade classes had eaten lunch, there were 594 cookies and 274 muffins. How many cookies did the third and fourth graders eat? So basically, in order to figure this out, it's going to be a really simple series of subtraction. You're going to subtract the total amount. Oops. You have to subtract the total amount by the amount that was left to see how much they eat in. But it only asks for the cookies, not the muffins. So cross out the muffins because those are irrelevant. So you just had to do 2,175 minus 594. 5 minus 4 is 1. And then since 7 can't subtract 9, you take the 1 from this side. And so 17 minus 9 is 8. And then, since 0 can subtract 5, you take 1 from here. And then 10 minus 5 is 5, bring down the 1, your answer is 1,581 cookies. You guys did really splendid today, boys and girls. Have a good day.